Welcome to Fireproof TV. I'm your host, Mo McCoy. I have a special guest online with me, um, my friend all the way from Hawaii. Uh, we met in Hawaii years ago, and uh, we're getting ready to do a big, big movie. It's called Silent Field. Let me introduce to you guys, Jeremy Johnson. How are you today? Doing really great, Mo. Thank you so much for having me on today, man. It's really great to connect with you. Yeah, man, it's really good to see you. We've 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 known each other for a while now, so it's all, all the way back uh, to to Hawaii, working on a short film that I did while in college. You and you and your uh, your kids were in it. It was it was awesome. Great collaborating. With you guys. Yeah, yeah. And so that that brought us to Silent Field, uh, where you requested us to be in the next movie. Exactly. Exactly, man. Yeah, really happy to have you involved and looking forward to getting this into production, you know. Absolutely. So let's uh, talk a little bit about the film. Um, uh, it says inspired by true events. So, yeah. So this feature film, it's it's adapted from a short film that I directed while living in Hawaii. Uh, the short film actually is based on a true story or inspired by true events about my cousin actually he uh he he was born deaf he he's he's deaf and he played high school football it's a really inspiring story um yeah that i wrote uh this short film played on pbs played in a bunch of film festivals uh in hawaii and and all over the world and it gained a lot of attention I remember doing some uh, q and a's after some screenings and a lot of people were wondering if i was going to turn it into into a feature film because they really thought it had the uh, potential for for the expansion and everything and um just i thought it was a great idea my my good friend nick uh who actually was the star in, in the short film he helped me write this into a feature and we've been uh polishing it for the last couple of years and we got it really fine-tuned now so we're working on the finances and uh doing our best to get it into production as soon as we can so uh, this is awesome and uh and thank you for letting me be a part of this because uh it's exciting, and um, I, I uh, have a lot of connections in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and you said you wouldn't mind filming it here. So, um, yeah, I think that that is awesome that we can bring this level of production to our city, uh, my hometown. You know, I I live in Vegas now, but uh, <laughs> yeah. but of course I you know my heart is here, my whole family's here. And when you said my kids, I knew that they were in Grand Rapids too. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, it would be very exciting to film it in Grand Rapids. Um, potentially shoot it at at your alma mater, the the high school that you went to. Um, yes, yes, that is so cool. Yeah, we we uh, have access to the the sports director there, and potentially use uh, the, the the football team and then the local football teams to. Uh, to shoot these live games, we want to use um, real characters whenever possible. You know, you're going to have actors, but then we we really want to use uh, real football players whenever we can to bring as much realism to, to the screen as possible. So, um, yeah, you you think it's possible to get uh, to get them involved, right? Absolutely. Um, I have a couple connections here. Hot Rod, uh, he he is a uh, Rodney Cobb Cobbins. He's um, uh, at Ottawa Hills High School and and another high school doing youth stuff and uh, he talked with the principal at my at my high school Ottawa Hills and um, they're they're all for it. I also have um, a friend of mine, uh, Rodney. He's at a uh, he's at Grand Rapids Community College and high school, and they are very interested in the movie too and providing us teams and students and locations and uh yeah i think i think it's a it's good timing to do such a production here in grand rapids where everybody you know is feeling um feeling like doing something like this you know uh we just had our prize here and and so there's a lot of creatives in the city right now and uh you know i think think we got you know, a good, good chance of putting, pulling it all together here. Amazing. So, amazing. I'd love to have all of them involved. I, you know, we'd uh, do our best to pay everybody back in whatever way we can. And it's, it's all about collaboration. If anybody knows 
you know, movies and the, 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 the TV and film business, it's all about collaboration, you know, bringing the right people together that bring, uh, that believe in a, in a project, you know, just like this short film, you know, everybody for this short, this is all done on a volunteer basis. And uh, just everybody was very passionate about the project. So we're just going to make sure to get all the uh, the right people involved to pull, to pull this off and uh, be a great, that's a, a great voice for the deaf, blind and uniquely able communities. It's an inspirational sports trauma. Um, I think everybody loves, you know, sports dramas. It's, uh, you know, like, it's like Rudy, uh, meets Mr. Uh, meets, uh, Dead Poet Society for anybody who's seen those films. We have, you know, the inspirational lead character, and then we have a very inspiring, uh, special needs teacher that encourages everybody in his class to follow their dreams, uh, despite, uh, in, uh their, you know, disabilities or anything that, that they're dealing with in life. So it's very, it's a very inspiring and moving, uh, film, so. Absolutely. Yeah. No, those films do really well. So um, I'm definitely excited about it and, and that it has, you know, a message in it and, you know, someone overcoming uh, because that that kind of story is needed in a time like this, you know. So um, so Jeremy, tell me uh, a little bit about yourself and, and uh, some of the things that you've worked on. Yeah, thank you for asking. I was born and raised in Seattle, Washington. Went to college at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Graduated in 2012 with a creative media degree. That is their version of their film school. I got my start uh, on, on Hawaii Five O as a production assistant. Was also an intern on the Descendants film. Um, another way how me and Mo connected. Mo was connected to that film. He gave a live performance at the rap party, which I'm uh, never going to forget. That was really awesome. Oh, yeah, that was cool. You know, you, I'm sure you remember those times. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And, um, yeah, after uh, getting my start, uh, you know, I collaborated and uh, got a lot of resources from the great people I worked with on uh, The Descendants. I was able to work on Pirates of the Caribbean and then over the years worked my way up as a production assistant. And I've been in L.A. since 2014, working on everything from NCIS Los Angeles to Quantum Leap. And uh, just a couple months ago, I was actually able to turn my book in and uh, join the Directors Guild of America. So I'm, I'm finally uh, was able to join the Directors Guild, which is, uh, you know, I'm very proud of that. And now it's um, opened up a lot of doors and collaborations and uh you know, uh, we're still uh, going through the strikes right now. Uh, we, I've been on hiatus with Quantum Leap since May. Um, looking forward to getting back into production on things once uh, once the strikes are over. But we're working on financing right now. And uh, it's not going to prevent us from getting this film into production because the Screen Actors Guild, we are, we are able to uh, still get a specific agreement with them to get this film into production. So we're going to do everything we can to you know, get this into production. Um, but yeah, working, um, you know, as an independent uh, film producer, director, writer on multiple projects right now. Um, but this one is on the forefront. So we're going to do everything we can to get this into production. But, right. I mean, That's awesome. Uh, I I, uh, I was uh, supposed to get into um, the Pirates of the Caribbean while they were out there filming in Hawaii. And yeah. uh I dressed up as a pirate, but when I got there, the real pirates were there. <laughs> These yeah. guys had to look down, and, and so I didn't. I didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I, yeah. You, you went out for a casting call. That's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I went out for. I seen. I seen the boat out there um, on the water. You know where you guys were filming. I thought that was so, so awesome. That yeah, was, that was one of the one of the coolest experiences I've uh, ever been involved with being able to be out on the pirate ship at night uh, it, was, it was amazing I remember being behind director Rob Marshall for a scene when he was I just almost couldn't believe it just you know seeing him direct uh, Johnny Depp and Penelope Cruz on on the ship out there it's just something I'll never forget man that's what's cool about working in the TV and movie world getting to collaborate and be a part of these uh these movies that you know last forever um yeah, and some of them are just you know more memorable than others, but um yeah, it's just we're very blessed and lucky to be working in this business that can uh, you know change lives. You know, it can really uh, st the right stories can change lives. You know, so 
Absolutely. Yeah. So um, you you brought in um, a, a video. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we'd like to show uh, one of the final scenes of the short film, where uh, the lead character is uh, walking onto the football field for the first time, and he's going to attempt to try out um, with the team. All right. Let's take a look. Why are you here? Dad said no football. Well, he Man. did. <laughs> Not my funeral. No, I think you should go out for it. Come on. Come on. I need, I need, boys. Everybody line up? Oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, 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 Excited about this year's yeah. Yeah. The hell is that? It's not what I want to hear. I'm gonna ask you again. Who's excited about this year's season? <laughs> That's what I want to hear. That's the kind of attitude you have to have to play. You play like that, you'll be real football players instead of the losers you were last season. Okay, one last drill, then practice is over. Wind sprints. Get ready? All right, we'll stop it right there. Can you tell us about that scene? Yeah, this scene... Um... So the main character, the, the, his father doesn't want him to play football because of because of his disability. Uh, but uh, he doesn't want to listen to his father. So he ends up showing up to the tryouts. Um, going behind his dad's back, he shows up. He he plays with them, does really well. Um, and in the middle of the tryouts, his, his father eventually does show up and try to pull him off the field. And then we have a really dramatic scene at the end where he stands up to his father and then he... Uh, he eventually, uh, you know, ends up playing football and does really well with the team. He makes the team, and then the um, they have a lot of success. Uh, that, and so he expanded this short film into a feature, showcasing, um, you know, the day to day struggles in life that he has. You know, being, you know, a deaf high school student. You know, playing as as a deaf football player. You know, it, um, and then succeeding and making it in the playoffs and getting um, and seeing as far as they could get. Um, just have to stay tuned for the feature film to see how far they get and how well, how well they do, how well they do. So, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, that, that looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to film. And uh, are you casting everybody over or uh, how, how's that going? Am I what again? Am I going to utilize anybody from the short film for the feature? Is that what you're saying? Correct. Yeah. Um, 
So we're going to have, uh, you know, Nick, Nick, uh, the main character in this film, he's going to be involved. He's not going to have the same role, but he, he's definitely going to be involved. Um, and he, he's a co-producer on this project as well. And, um, as of right now, I'm bringing in a lot of new uh, collaborators on this project. But if anybody out there who is, you know, watching this that's connected to Facebook, anybody that was in the short film that wants to be involved with the feature can definitely reach out to me anytime and let me know if they still want to be involved, uh, you know, with, with this project and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, great. Now, uh, I got a personal question. Um, yeah. uh, what What character do you see me playing in this movie? Yeah, I would I would love for you to play one of the assistant coaches or one of the uh, one of the head football coaches in, in this film. You know, there's potential roles in this film for you that would really stand out. I think you would do a great job playing if, if something like that interests you. We, absolutely, we absolutely. You involved as one of the coaches, uh, being there on the sideline. I mean, I know you have, you know, a background in acting. And I'm sure, you, have you played, you've played sports like growing up yourself. So. Yeah, I played football too, so uh that def that's definitely exciting yeah yeah man. Yeah. definitely love to have you involved as, as one of the coaches or uh yeah if you read through the script again if anything else stands out i would we'd love to have you consider that as well so man we want to have you be one of the stars of the movie man so yes sir i'd love to do that for you and yeah. my kids as well um mm -hmm. all right so is there anything else you want to uh say before we get out of here yeah, we uh, greatly appreciate anybody that's tuning into this. If you guys want to help out in any way that you can, you know, send me or Mo an email. If you want to get involved as an actor, producer, financer, or simply, you know, donate five, ten, whatever amount uh, you would like to donate to our GoFundMe page. We're going to post this on all of our social media. Uh, we're all about collaborating and getting anybody involved that wants to be a part of this great uh, and inspiring story um yeah that's uh, that's definitely what it's what it's all about you know helping the communities the deaf blind and uniquely able communities and telling this inspirational uh inspiring story here so absolutely yeah, really appreciate yeah. anything anybody could offer to to you know bring to the table so yes and uh, uh there's a lot of people here and uh on our social media that might want to get involved so this is absolutely exciting to me, you know, to be uh, transitioning from from filmmaker to actor in my last couple films and, and now in a silent field. So I'm very excited and I'm going to do everything I can to help you get this out here. Yeah, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, congrats on all the success you've had over the years with your music and all of the films that you've brought to Tubi and then all the other networks out there, man. It's it's been great, you know, seeing you evolve over the last 10 years since we've known each other. So it's been it's really been really great. Awesome. Thank you. And uh I appreciate your time, Jeremy. And uh I'll be posting this on all social media and on GRTV. So uh thank you guys for watching and tuning in to Fireproof TV. This is a channel where we do content, all kinds of movie and film content and bring on big famous directors and writers like Jeremy and, and others, you know, to get the word out about these movies that, you know, we're so passionate about bringing to the forefront. So thank you for watching Fireproof TV. Thank you, Jeremy, for, uh, to, for coming on the show and we'll have to do this again. Thank you so much, Mo. I really, really appreciate it, man. Looking forward to talking soon and uh, getting this movie made. All right, let's do it. All right.